Dr. Laura Dabney talking to you about the holidays. Happy holidays, everybody. And the topic that comes up all the time in my office this time of year is overeating. And this month, I want to talk about getting a handle on your eating habits. Today, we're going to start with what is driving the overeating or this feeling of powerlessness over food. Of course, you're not powerless over food. Okay? You feel that way because there's something unconscious driving you. So today I want to talk about what's not driving you, what's possibly driving you, and what to do about it. Okay, in my experience, food is a numbing factor. Okay, so when you are busy um, eating and experiencing and um, talking through meals and everything that goes along with it, that's a way to numb a feeling. Okay, you're numbing yourself. You're getting all caught up in the food and the texture and the taste and all that and how it looks and what, who, who you're talking with and who's next to you and what are they eating. It's all a way to not feel. So what is the emotion that you're hiding there underneath the food? It's not boredom. It's very interesting. People often think it's boredom. First of all, I'm not sure boredom is even really a feeling, but boredom is another form of numbing, right? So boredom, numbing is all the goal. The unconscious piece to it all is the feeling. Typically, in my experience, this is neediness. You've heard me talk about enemy emotions. Neediness is one of them, and that's what tends to drive the overeating. If I say to you right now, how do you feel about being needy? And you're cringing, <laughs> then neediness is probably your enemy emotion. Okay? And you may be covering it up with excessive food or feeling powerless over your food choices. So, how do we figure this out? Well, is it, if it's neediness um, and you cringed right there, another way to get comfortable with your neediness, because what we want to do is uncouple the uh, neediness from food. Because right now it's all collapsed on itself. You feel needy unconsciously, you, it starts to come up and you just eat food to cover it up. Just like this. So we have to uncouple that. We have to slow that part down. You can start by practicing something I tell my patients, which is to name your emotions several times a day. Whether you set an alarm, at certain time of, times of day you're gonna do this. Once you stop, give yourself five minutes. What am, I feel, what am I feeling? Now, if you're really good at hiding your feelings, you're gonna come up with thoughts. Well, I think that was a stupid thing to do. Well, I think I'm behind. Well, um, the weather really stinks. <laughs> Those are all thoughts. Feeling words are, needy, joyful, sad, anxious, irritated, angry. Right? You want to come up with one feeling word that you're feeling in the moment. The more you practice that, the better you're going to be able to get comfortable with the neediness and attach it from eating. Okay? Need any help with that? Of course, as always, give us a call 757-340-8800.